So if you ever had a highly detailed car that you take in for service, only to find that it's gotten scratched up when you get it back, well, I have. Stay tuned, because next we're gonna talk about how to avoid that in the future. Hi, I'm Todd Cooperwriter with Esoteric. So you have a highly detailed car. Maybe it's a car that you have uh, done yourself or you've taken to a detailer, had it properly refined, and you wanna take it in for service, but you want to make sure nothing happens to it while it's there. Maybe you've heard uh, other people have had bad experiences or have had one yourself. I am that person as well. Years ago, when I was just starting out uh, in the industry, I had a really cool Acura RSX Type S. Thing was perfect. It was one of the first cars that kind of sent me down the rabbit hole of uh, paint correction and detailing. Well, I took it into lube to have the oil change on it. So what happens, they take a fender cover, it's been on every dirty car in the city, they put it uh, on your fender, they slide it across, which scratches the surface underneath. Got the car, I took it home, I took a look at it and realized, hey, this is all scratched up. I went and I took photographs, I went back to the manager of the company, I showed him the damage, and basically had them pay me to fix my own car. But what I did with that company is I gave them uh, all the photos from, from it so they can see the evidence, they can train their people to avoid it. And the funny thing is, a customer, a year down the road, customer of mine, uh, they went to that same lube and he said when he got there, it gets out in the bay, the guys were getting ready to work on it, the manager goes running over to him, you know, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Because he learned that you don't want to put fender covers on a car like that. Uh, it was just kind of funny that all came back to me. But anyhow, back to your car. You wanna take it in, in for service. Now with us, we've got great relationships with uh, dealerships. They kinda of know what to expect when our cars are going to them. And some dealerships are gonna be really good uh, about watching after your car. But you can't assume that everybody thinks about paint the same way you and I do. We want it to look fantastic. We realize that just touching the paint can cause micro marring uh, or scratches. So what do you do when you get in? If you don't have that relationship built, you wanna go in and make sure and talk to the service advisor or the service manager, whoever might be working on the car, the mechanic, and say, look, hey, don't put anything, don't put any fender covers on it. You're gonna to have to change the oil with, without leaning on the uh, surface. Please don't touch uh, the paint on it. Another thing is, you know, tell them not to wash it. A lot of places wanna do a courtesy wash on it. It goes through an automatic car wash and you can do a tremendous amount of damage, regardless of whether you have a coating on your car or not. It could be as simple as something like this. Put together a do not wash sign. Put it uh, up on the dash, put it in the windshield, so they know, in addition to the conversation that, uh, that you have with uh, the dealership uh, about it. Let them know. They might think you're crazy. They might think that you're um, you know, just nuts about your car. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that car is in great condition when it comes out. You know, Paint is really delicate, and I don't care how nice of a fender cover that's going on there, if it's not clean, if it's not near brand new condition, um, you know, if they gently place it on and gently pull it off, it'll probably be fine, but you don't wanna take that risk. So have the conversations with any of the places that you might be uh, taking your car to, just to make sure they are not touching it, or they're not putting anything on it. It's no different if you wanna have a car transported. We've got cars shipping, to and from here at Esoteric all the time. We speak with the drivers. We make sure that they're not touching that paint. There's no need to touch it at all whatsoever. So you wanna learn more about how delicate paint is, check out the videos that we're gonna link you here at the end. One is on paint is delicate, don't touch it. And the other one is five tips of polishing if you want to learn how to go in, fix those problems yourself.